Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo gaming laptop. This is a Lenovo gaming Legion 5 15 model and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and remove or replace your battery for your laptop. If yours is not holding up any more charge or just be charging really quickly, you just want to open it up and remove the battery. All right, by doing removing your battery, you're not gonna change anything in the system or configuration and I'll give you a really good tip to keep your batteries in a good health condition. All right, so we get it started. First thing first, you wanna power off the laptop completely. You wanna flip it upside down. You wanna grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set, and we are gonna be using a Phillips number zero. And if you get the process, they will include you with some opening tool tweezers. If not, grab yourself the guitar pick. Our guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With these two on hand, we're gonna get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. There's a two sets of screws, the short ones and the long screws. The short ones are the one in the front of the laptop, those are the four of them. Remove them and keep them in a separate pile so you don't mismatch them with the long screws. And then we go ahead and remove the rest of the screws. If you guys like my video, if you find my video helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe, I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. Alright, now that we remove all the screws, what you want to do, you want to grab the opening tool, and you want to start from one corner of the laptop. You want to stick the opening tool about one or two millimeters inside the cover, just jam it in there, and then just move it like this. Don't worry about the sound that it makes, those are the normal sound, those are the clips that are getting loose. You want to do that I will up to here, up to USB-C, and then do the front end. Just run your hand across, just work it around, and you want to hear the case opening. Once you get the front and the side a little bit open, you want to grab it by your fingers, and you want to wiggle it around. There's a tiny clip in here. You want to lift it up a little hard, and you want to hear that clip coming up. And then you just want to go like this, and it will loosen up the bottom case. And the battery right in front of you, this is a, a little gaffer tape that doesn't let me see. This is a 15 volt battery. It's a 15.44 volt. The model for the battery is an L21D4PC1. I'll try to get the link for this one and I'll leave it in the video description so you guys can purchase yours. To disconnect the battery, you want to put your fingers on the side of the jack and then you want to pull it back straight and bring it up, just like that. To remove it, there's one, two, three, four, five, and six screw. The sixth one is right underneath. To get to the sixth one, you need to remove the heat spreader for the NVMe right in here. So remove one screw right in here and one is screw right at the corner on this side of the plate and one right by the fan. Once you remove these three screws, you can lift up this plate, put it to the side, then you can access this battery right in here. If you want to remove the CMOS battery, is this one right in here, just pull it back, the CMOS battery will come out pretty easy. But you don't need to remove that one. To remove the main battery, remove the six screws that touches the battery. All right, next, you want to grab the battery, bring it up straight. There's a little jack right in there. All right, now that I cannot lift this one up because the, uh, the battery, I mean, the NVMe is not letting me to pull this one upward, but I can lift it up tiny bit and then pull it towards myself so I, can, I don't need to remove the NVMe right in here. So that's the hook right in there. So you get a new battery in. What you want to do in here, you want to slide this one underneath the NVMe, gently, inside the connector, and you make sure the pin goes in there. To be in a safe spot, I don't want you guys to force anything, just go ahead and remove the heat plate right in on top of this one, same thing on the left one that we did. Two screws, one screw by the fan. Remove the heat spreader. Now we need to remove the NVMe by removing this tiny screw and pull it backward, put it to the side, put the battery right on top. Now you can put it nicely in place. 
drop it down. Once for all, put the six screw for the battery. Put the heating on this side. That's it. Uh, put the three screws right over the heatsink. Now we're gonna grab the NVMe storage that we have. We're gonna slide it in in a 15 degree inside the jack. And we're gonna grab the tiny screw, push it down, make sure the screw hole matches, and screw down the screw on top. Grab the heatsink, put it right on top, and put the three screws for the heatsink. Now to finish it off, down here we're just gonna grab the connector, make sure align the connector in front of the jack, and you wanna push it inside the connector straight in and you wanna pinch them together. All right, and that's how you put the battery in. To finish it off, just put the bottom cover over and squeeze the one in the middle of the jack and the side you wanna hear those click sounds and the back side and all that. Uh, to Put the screws in, put the front end of the screws and the longest screws towards the back. Now, regarding the new battery in, once you put the new one in, you don't want to power it on at all. You want to leave the charger connected while it's off and leave it charging for at least four to five hours. After four to five hours, you want to power on the laptop and you want to just drain the battery slowly. Don't put any gaming or any heavy load. Just let it drain down to 20 or 30 percent. And after that, you want to power off the laptop and again, leave it for charging for again, four to five hours. After that, you can just power it on as you wish, connect it or not connect it and use it. That initial charge and discharge, it is very important for the new batteries. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.